high expectations for Slayer to perform well right now. Like, I feel like the Peach main's got, like, such a huge buff because their character got buffed, but the way they play Peach hasn't has necessarily changed. changed. <laughs> it's just the things that they do really well it's got better. Yeah, it's, instead of it, you know, being uh, 0 to 40, now it's, like, the uh, clockwork 0 to 65 yeah. combos every time. <laughs> Yeah, oh yeah, I'm definitely looking for that. Like the down throw, uh, dark, sorry, down tilt, triple nair to like fair off stage. You're already yeah, like at 80. Yeah. And on uh, the other side of it, I think it's uh, is this fast sanic. Fast sanic. Too fast five sanic. I think it's so hard to read his name. If it's back. I'm gonna go on a limb and say he might play Sonic, but we'll find I out. I believe together. I've seen this guy play, and he used like Luigi or something. <laughs> yeah, I think he's one of those guys that like, oh yeah, my, my name is Mario <laughs> Main 55, five, but I play like Wolf or something. Nice. Yeah. Well, we're running together for sure. But uh, this is pretty far in the pool, so he definitely makes some upsets. Or not necessarily upsets, but took some names on his way here. Yeah. So I'm not going to assume on this guy, even though I'm not really uh, sure who he plays. Yeah, we moved in. We have winners round four now at this point? Yeah. Covering over uh, some really fun stages, but we're going to Final Destination. Serious mode activate. And I'm uh, pretty sure we know what Slayer is just running out. All right, let's 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 see what we're getting on the other side. All right. But no surprise there. Yeah, okay, yeah. There you go. There you go. I, my memory uh, served me correctly. Luigi Peach. Now, I felt like this has always been a rough matchup for Luigi because without power shielding, Peach can pressure his shield really well, and uh, if he floats in a range above his shield, he doesn't necessarily have super quick options to uh, jump at shield. But uh, luckily in this game with that universal uh, three-frame drum squad, he has a little bit more ways to just like jump at shield and nair a Peach. Also, though, uh, I don't know, starting out really strong right now with Luigi. That's yeah, kind Luigi's of the, uh, the thing, though. Uh, the Luigi's always start off pretty strong, and then it's uh, the rest of the stock that it turns into a little bit of trouble. Especially if they're not able to get in. And in the blink of an eye, Slayer is 69%. It's no problem. The, the fun continues as Luigi off stage. Oh, yeah. Luigi got edge guarded by Peach really hard in Smash 4. That was when his cycle was good. Now he has an even easier time uh, edge guarding Luigi in this game. So I'm really looking to see how Slayer performs that matchup. But there it is again that rising there on his shield. Something that Luigi got as a way to combat Peach's shield pressure in this game. Slayer is trying to siphon with the turn up. Doesn't quite get it. And they're back into the neutral game. And actually holding him. Oh, man, what a forward air. Oh, Very man. nice spacing because he had, you know, Sanic was trying to contest it with his own forward air and just out spaced it. That crowd has so much range. Yeah, oh, yeah. Way more range than Luigi wants to do. With the eye on the cyclone, but there's the grab on the landing. Peach is just floating into the upper blast zone, staying alive barely. Yeah, it's got to be a little bit frustrating overall. You know, you threw out two moves that you probably thought were going to kill. Oh, that yeah, one does slight so. Light charge, catching them drifting in just slightly. Ray of Smash coming out there from Sanic. And now we're seeing if you can get these low range combos. Nice pivot grab on the landing, but gets intercepted by the Nair. Oh, barely missing that Nair on the side beat. Yeah, a couple of miss inputs overall coming out from Slayers. But it doesn't really matter. He's still in the lead in this match. Okay. Ray guard here. Was high, great trade for Slayers. Really far off stage here. Drifts in with the air dodge though. Finds a safe place to get back to the stage. Throwing out these grabs. Trying to catch a landing here. He knows he's out of pursuit to get some really juicy combos, but Slayers playing around the grab. Really intelligent. Okay. Yeah, so many hitboxes and all of them. Just so hard to punish. He's got the turn up out, trying to edge guard. Very elusive from Sanic, able to get back. That was definitely a tough situation. And, oh, that's unfortunate. Trying to catch a landing, but Slayers just floats on, and it's so hard to narrow down. Oh, oh right on top of him with that forward air again, applying so much pressure at the ledge, really limiting the options that uh, Sandic has. Just starting here, go just here to grab, but no follow-up. Yeah, piece around this percent is the way that she uh, has like that floaty mechanic. It's kind of hard to get a follow-up on the grab that's going to be consistent. Yeah, and it kind of seems like too. Anytime uh, Luigi gets the wheels turning. Slayers has that get out of jail free card where he just smashes neutral air to get out of it. And the combos can still continue for Slayers. Building up a lead. No back throw. Oh, he combos it. Yes. Maybe a DI trap. Yeah, that move is very uh, easy to combo out of a throw. And uh, 
Yeah, it's, it's always been really weird to DI the tornado because you're not really sure what side of the tornado is going to hit you. And not only that, but uh, with the grab at the ledge, you had uh, either a back throw that could kill or that down throw situation. So maybe yeah. Slayer's not sure which way to go and uh, Santa able to guess correctly and follow up and take that kill. But he's in trouble at 117%. And it's like one piece forward air might be enough to do it. But don't get too comfortable. This is opportunity. Oh. Oh. That's a rough drop. If you got the down air to spike correctly, it could have been so good for him, right? It could have been the game. Honestly, yeah. <laughs> Just down throw. How most are actually still insane in this game? Especially when he finishes off with like an up B. But catches the roll in on the uh, fourth air. Oh, air dodge cover as well. Oh, man. Really good trade there coming out from Slayer. Honestly, I'm surprised I'm not seeing him punish these uh, side Bs off stages uh, much as I would expect. But, go catch him there. So much pressure, so fast. Sanic thought he could punch something out of still uh, out of shield, but that air is so quick and powerful. Game one going to Slayers, uh, kind of in his favor, like really strong, but I feel like Sanic, if he gets a grab, like his punch game's been pretty solid. Definitely should go back and forth and just a little bit yeah, better with his combo. Weezy. It definitely looked like Sanic did a good job playing to his win condition, you know, he, uh, he got the grab that he needed. He just needed to land that down air. Just some execution errors. Uh, that could have been a whole entire different game. Could you imagine he get that down air and he's able to steal it and he's sitting up in the lead in game one? Or after game one coming into game two? But he wasn't. So Slayer is sitting up in the lead game one. Has a little bit of house money to play on. Maybe trying to close it out this game. Nice landing traps here. That might be what he needs to do, honestly. Just when you see Slayer's floating in a certain area where he can throw out a safe air, uh, area like an up air, he has to go way more aggressive than that since. Because I feel playing on the ground and letting him pressure the shield for free has not been working in his favor. Right near our shield, though. Alright, off stage. That side B, slight low recovery. Slayer's still not really challenging it that much. I'm surprised, but the shield drop at the worst time possible for 3-5 uh, uh, fast Sanic. Caught by the forward air here again. Okay. Slayer's looking in so much control. And he's got Hello? the edge guard positioning oh. too. <laughs> Maybe if uh, Slayer's in position correctly, he can get the toad out in time to catch the side B. Might be a good sort of really able to kill if he gets that door. Yeah, you know he's being aggressive off stage trying to go there. Just maybe he kind of backed off just a little bit too much. He has it right there. Good air dodge, staying so for a Sanic just hanging on for dear life, doing everything he can to oh. get solid ground. Slayer says no. Take a forward air. This game is just not fair sometimes. <laughs> yeah, it's it's so hard to get past that turn up setup because he goes a turn up down where you want to air dodge. Face the air dodge and immediately can just go for like an air or like a narrow forward air. Pressure here on the top platform, chaining the up airs back and forth. Yeah, Santa, Santa needs to get off this platform. He's stuck there. Yeah, and he's, he's taking so much damage. Back towards the platform, and Slayer's just staying in place, hitting him over and over. Yeah, bad tactical decision, and Sanic, this looks like it might be the end of his winner's run if Slayer just keeps on hitting buttons the way he is. Oh, yeah, he's hitting all the right buttons in all the right places. He's tried to roll in past the full cancel bear, not going to get any luck so far. Oh, and four yards of right when he tries to roll in. Slayer's going so aggressive. Okay, good angle on the side B to get to the ledge, but the aerial gets covered by the up air. So he's gonna just go off stage in there. Three stocks. Slayer's not giving him any room to breathe whatsoever. He's gonna take that three up. Uh, uh, two up. Two up. Three stock. Three stock. Yeah, sorry. Numbers are up. No. <laughs> Hey, and you know, I'm gonna go out on a limb here. We're talking about dark horses to make a deep run. I would not be surprised if Slayers makes a deep run in this tournament. He's just yeah. that kind of player. Yeah, I would love for Slayers to do really well in this event. Not only because he doesn't go out that much, but because our other uh, SoCal Peach representative, Razo, uh, lower part of the 